Exactamente, la Diana es una. ¿Qué tal, Monate? In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Our brother, our sister, Christine Angelica, has gone to her rest in the peace of Christ. May the Lord now welcome her to the table of God's children in heaven with faith and hope in eternal life. Let us assist her with our prayers. Let us pray to the Lord also for ourselves. May we who mourn be reunited one day with our sister. Together may we meet Christ Jesus when he who is our life appears in glory. Lord Jesus Christ, by the three days you lay in the tomb, you hallow the graves of all who believe in you. And so may the grave sign of hope that promises resurrection even as it claims our mortal bodies. Grant that our sister Christine Angelica may sleep here in peace until you awaken her to glory for you are the resurrection and the life. Then she will see you face to face in your life. We'll see light and know the splendor of God, for you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. I shall now bless the two and we will pray. Our Father. Because God has chosen to call our sister, Christine Angelica, from this life to himself, we commit our body to the earth, for we are dust, and unto dust we shall return. But the Lord Jesus Christ will change our mortal bodies to be like his in glory. For he has risen the firstborn from the dead. So let us commend our sister Angelica, Christian Angelica to the Lord, that the Lord may embrace her in peace and raise up her body on the last day. For our sister, Christian Angelica, let us pray to our Lord Jesus Christ who said, I am the resurrection even in death and whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. In every petition, our response, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord, you consoled Martha and Mary in their distress. Draw near to us who mourn for Christine and Angelica and dry the tears of those who weep. We pray. Lord have mercy. You wept at the grave of Lazarus, your friend. Comfort us in our sorrow. We pray. Lord have mercy. You raised the dead to life. Give to our sister Christine and Angelica eternal life. We pray. You promise paradise to the repentant, repentant king. Bring Christine Angelica to joy to the joys of heaven. We pray. Our sister Christine Angelica was was in baptism and anointed with the Holy Spirit. Give her fellowship with all your saints. We pray. She was, was nursed with, our, with your body and blood. Grant her a place at the table in your heavenly kingdom, we pray. Comfort us in our sorrow at the death of Christine Angelica. Let our faith be our consolation and eternal life our hope, we pray. With longing for the coming of God's kingdom, we will now sing the Lord's Prayer.
God of holiness and power, accept our prayers on behalf of your servant, Christine Angelica. Do not count her deeds against her pure heart. She desired to do your will. As her faith united her to you people on earth, so may your mercy join her to the angels in heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto her, O Lord, and let her recognize her May she rest in peace. May her soul and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. May the love of God and the peace of the Lord Jesus bless and console us and gently wipe every tear from our eyes in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Knowing the peace of Thank you so much, brother. We may now take our seats. This time, let us know more about Mom Christine Angelica Fava de Serra to give us a word of remembrance.
May we call on Marnini da Sera, the aunt of Mom Christine Angelica Faba da Sera, for her message. Naate. But somehow I like to go her like that. But actually, uh, just uh, last night, uh, my brother confirmed that her, her nickname was actually called Laika. So I was right all along. Maybe you would tell that to you later. So I am Mimi, her aunt, from of course her father's side. And uh, first, I would like to thank you all for coming to help us celebrate. But having been single all my life, I really didn't know how to act as one. But Laika was such a sweet, good-hearted, loving child that I didn't really have difficulty taking care of her. By God's grace, after Four years, Laika was able to finish her degree with flying colors and become, or became, what she has become before she was taken so suddenly. It was, of course, really very, very painful for all of us. I had actually prayed that I could easily utter what Job uttered in the book of Job, chapter 1, verse 21b, when he said, The Lord gave, and the Lord has taken away. May the name of the Lord be praised. You see, Job was a very godly man in the Old Testament days. He was very prosperous. He had everything he needs, more than even the things he needs. He was very blessed by God. He had a beautiful family. He had seven sons and three daughters. And all these things were taken away from him in an instant. But still he was able to praise God despite what happened. Indeed, we cannot fathom God's ways as I said in Isaiah 55 verses 8 to 9, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, and your ways are not my ways. For as the heavens is, are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. And of course, you can take consolation in God's promise. In Romans 8, verse 28, when the Apostle saw Paul assured us that in all things, God works for the good of those who love Him. Life that will surely be missed. But what would forever be matched in my mind is the image of our beautiful, young, good-hearted, please, Laika, I believe that she's now with our Creator in heaven, of course, a city of pure gold, as pure as glass, where there's no more death or mourning or crying or pain, as revealed by God Himself in Revelation 21, verse, verses 4, 18. So we love you, Laika. I would just say, all revoir. Our dear Laika, until we meet again. Thank you so much, ma'am. And for another message, may we hear from Sir Peter Caro, the uncle of Mom Christine Angelica Faba de Serra, for his message. Uh, 
my dear friends and relatives of Michael, we call him Aika or Christine or whatever you call him, her. Um, I am only the one uh, very close uh, to the family of, of Aika. And um, it's sad to, to say or to know that uh, Aika died in the hands of the uh, golden friends. So it's so sad for us. But anyway, um, uh, death is uh, for all of us, so don't worry. Nauna lang si Aika. Uh, nang nandun ako sa, sa Iloilo, I was shocked na yung karitula doon sa Iloilo, mayroon na talagay doon na uh, sa sementeryo nila. Uh, kami karon kamudason. So, yun. So, sila daw na una, tayo sa sunod. But anyway, uh, death is not uh, switching off the light in the middle of the night. But to switch them off because the morning is coming. But it's so sad to say na Aika, in his young age, na nawala na siya sa akin. Very hurting for us, even the, in the family. Um, but we wonder why, no? Uh, in our life, in this earth, uh, we have a no, we question. Actually, we have three questions na kailangan natin na malaman. Una, saan tayo nanggaling? Yung mga pinanganak, saan kaya sila nanggaling? Pangalawa, bakit nandito tayo ngayon sa earth? Anong purpose natin? Pangatlong question, saan tayo pupunta pagkatapos ng buhay na ito? Di ba? Naisip ba natin yun, naitanong? Um, I was told by Sis Emily just this morning to talk about kaya hindi ako nakaprepare ng aking ano, sana mga two hours yun. Pero I have an introduction for one hour, so... Pasensya na na. So, unang-una po, yung saan tayo po nang galing? In the Jeremiah, it says na, um, to the prophet Jeremiah, sabi ng Panginoon, Before I formed me in a billion,